Hey everybody, it's Derek with Evils with Derek and the Brew and Harry Feed X623. It's a little humid out today. It's gonna be, I think they said it's gonna feel like 105, so I'm doing my video from inside my apartment today. Welcome to my home. Um, and today I wanted to talk about patience and patience in a way that doesn't come naturally thinking. Patience you think of like waiting on something and all that, but the two stories I have today come out of the Old Testament, one in Genesis and one in Joshua. In Joshua 2, Joshua sends two spies into Jericho to go scavenge and like check the place out because they know it's for them. Uh, but he went them to go look out. And while they were there, the king was onto them and said like, there's spies in the village. Well, this one lady, Rahab, saw them and took them in. And she goes, I know this is not our home. I know this is for you guys. Will you save my family? And because of that, they said yes. And because of the yes, she had the courage and the, what I call, she filled her hope bucket and patience bucket to then have the patience to wait out the guards coming through the city. She had the patience to do that. But it took uh, some deposit. And the deposit was the hope that her family will be safe from the demolish of Jericho. And so for some of you guys, if you're in a tough season, your season of patience may look different on how you have to do it. But at the end of the day, it's patience. There's different ways to use patience. There's patience like waiting for the microwave to finish. There's patience when you have ribs on the slow cooker for like 12 hours and then they fall off the bone and they're so tasty. But there's also patients like the story I'm also going to reference in Genesis 32, where um, Jacob, they cross a river. He takes, he sends his wives over, his servants over, his kids over the river. And then this guy comes up to him and fights him all night long. And in the morning, the guy's like, let me go. It's daybreak. And he's like, not until you bless me. And it's the angel of the Lord. And it, because of that, he says, you will be renamed Israel. So he had patience to endure. I had to double check. I was like, this doesn't make sense. But no, there's actually a, a way of looking at patience of endurance, of perseverance, of waiting it out. In battle, you have to have patience to wait. And to endure, it may be split seconds and constantly like waiting to see what the next move is going to be, but it's a strategy. Patience is a strategy. And so maybe in your season of, well, I don't know what you guys are going through, but maybe in your strategy for today and this coming season, you need to look at patience in a different way that can be beneficial to your life and your season. Um, those are the two passages I have today with patience. Uh, and weird way to look at it. But I was like, hey, it totally makes sense. I checked with my friends and said, nope, that sounds accurate. That, yep, that works. And so I wanted to bring it to you guys today that patience doesn't mean just waiting on the microwave or waiting for traffic to clear. Patience is getting a deposit like Rahab did of hope that her family would be safe. And then patience that Jacob had fighting the angel and then was gifted a new name, Israel, and led the Israelites to where they are today. The lineage just goes on and on and on, but it takes not giving up. That's what patience is, is at the end of the day. It's, it's not giving up. It's waiting it out. It's sticking to the path. Don't give up. No matter how sticky or tough your situation is, how stressful it is let God grant you the patience and fill your patience bucket that's what I was calling it today your patience bucket or back in the Old Testament they did farming so they had the silos so they had to fill their silos full of patience so whatever your storehouse is whether that's your deep freezer for your meat or your fridge uh, fill your storehouse or bucket full of what you need to feed your patience whether that's hope whether that's joy whether that's um, faith, let that feed you and encourage you. Let me pray for you guys. First, 
I want to ask you guys if you want to accept Christ today. If you do, let me lead you in that prayer because I don't want to give leave a chance of you guys not having a chance to accept Christ. And it's as simple as this. Lord Jesus, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and all your goodness and all your glory. And we ask for your forgiveness for our sins, that you would come in, you would clean us out, you would make us new, and that you would guide us from here on out on how to speak and how to move and how to live. And that you would bring people alongside of us to show us how to use these new uh, new vision, because it's what you give us. You give us new sight. So I pray that you would bring people alongside of us to show us how to walk out this new way of life as we have accepted you in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, guys, if you did that, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. But please comment if you accept Christ. That would make my day. I'd buy a cake from Costco, and I would eat the whole thing in celebration for you guys. It'd be great. Lots of yummy cake and ice cream. But just to celebrate the fact that you accepted Christ today, that would be amazing. Um, and I also want to pray a blessing over you guys. Lord Jesus, I thank you for everybody that watches the video today that you would renew them with joy, renew them with peace, renew them with uh, just encouragement if they're going through a struggle and that you would bring people alongside of them to help them through their season. And if they're in a great spot in their season, they're at the, like I call it the harvest season where you're like, yeah, you're at the good side of it, the end of it, you're at the end of it. I pray that you would bring people to them to feed and encourage next. If someone's going through a hard season, that you would bring the people who's on the good side of it into somebody alongside to help bring them through that spot. That we, there's always something to do. Whether you're fighting the storm or it's your turn to help encourage somebody going through a storm. I pray that you would keep encouraging the people who watch the videos week in and week out. I thank you for every single one of them that you would bless them today, give them a hug from heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.